What's up guys, it's me, Steve WB, and I'm back today. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is a little vlog camera that I use for uh, Bennett's World mostly. It's really awesome for, you know, run and gun type shooting, which is what we do. You don't have to worry about focusing and all that stuff. It's got a built-in gimbal. You know, if you're probably familiar with the Osmo Pocket. If you've been on YouTube at all, there's a lot of information on this. But I'm not talking just about the Osmo Pocket today. Everybody's already talked about the Osmo Pocket. What I'm going to be talking about with the Osmo Pocket is this right here. It's a handheld Z-axis stabilizer. So it's a fourth axis stabilizer. When you're using the Osmo Pocket, you can see how you have tilt. Like if, you, if you're wobbling the camera, it'll try to compensate. Or if you're leaning like this, you can see it's trying to hold the camera stable but what it doesn't have is when you're walking like this you'll get uh, your footsteps bouncing in your footage and you can try to do the ninja walk you know and creep it along and but then you know you're out in public doing like heel to toe type stuff and people are looking at you like you're nuts so the solution for this is this uh, fourth axis handheld z-axis stabilizer and it's this one right here in particular I ordered from Amazon it's from a company called Start RC, and I'll leave a link for this down in the description below. But what that looks like is this right here. Now, with me showing you this, the cold shoe on the side, I super glued that on there. I 3D printed this out, glued it on there, just so I could put my mic on there. But uh, how this little device here works is uh, you put your Osmo Pocket inside and then you hold it like this so when you're walking and you're stepping it will take the bounce out of your step your Osmo pocket just kind of floats out there and it gives you really smooth footage and the plus side and the reason why I like this stabilizer is when you're not filming you just uh, flip her down and guess what it's also the case so you can just stick this right in your pocket see something you want to record pull the rubber strap bam there you go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some footage and I did a we were at Disney's Hollywood Studios today and I just did a street comparison walking down the street I used a GoPro Hero 5 Black and it has built-in stabilization but it's not really that great and then right next to it I held the Osmo Pocket and I was walking down the street like this with them right beside each other and just took a normal stride and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a minute now we're gonna compare the footage of those two you know that will allow you to see the difference between the Osmo Pocket and the GoPro so let's get into that okay we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the GoPro Hero Black and the DJI Osmo Pocket. It's not going to be a fair comparison because the Osmo Pocket is on a fourth axis stabilizer. But I'm also looking at uh, colors, lights. It's late in the evening, it's like five o'clock, sun's going down, so it's a, kind of a low light situation. See which one looks better all right so as you can tell from that footage the osmo pocket is way more stable than the gopro hero 5 black and i should have actually just turned the stabilization off on the on the gopro that way you could have seen like just normal camera jitter compared to the osmo pocket but uh you know i didn't get into all that forget that you you, you can see what i'm talking about and you can also compare picture quality of a Hero 5 Black shot in 2.7K and the Osmo Pocket shot in 1080, I believe it was. With all that being said, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you a few other little features of this cool little device right here. All right, as you can see, I'm going to pull the, the pocket out. Right here you have a nice little rubber pad on the back side and it, you can see that it is shaped to match the Osmo Pocket. So what that does is, you know, of course it just slips in there and you slide it down over the pad and that just gives it a good grip to 
keep it from falling out. And then when, of course, you are not using your Osmo Pocket, you can always do this. And then uh, it's got like a, just a little tab there with a hole in this rubber and you just stretch that rubber over and hold that. Now, the one of the things that I don't like about this is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the Osmo Pocket, when it, the mount is flush, the lens and the camera stick out ever so slightly on this. So it does get bumped a little bit while it's in storage. And then uh, it does not come with a cold shoe mount. Like I said before, I 3D printed this and just super glued it to the side because I wanted a microphone for my Osmo because I just hate the internal audio of really anything. And I'm trying to get better sound out of my stuff. So got to have a place for a microphone. And then, of course, you have a quarter inch screw mount right here and a quarter inch screw mount right here. And then they leave you a nice little convenient hole in the bottom that you can slide a charger through to uh, charge this thing up. So overall, other than this sticking out ever so slightly, it's a really cool little setup. And I mean, it just comes in super handy. All right, well, that's all I'm gonna be saying about this cool little device today. Uh, I know this is a short little video, but like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of really throwing something together to get something out tomorrow because I'm trying to get a video every day and I had I had a good lead I had like five videos ahead but now it's down to like two or three because like my first day home when I got back from work I was just you know you, you don't feel like doing anything you're just lounging around so I was just chilling so am I gonna vlog about me chilling on the couch and catching up with the family you know I mean I don't think so that's why I'm going to start doing little fillers like this. I want to start doing little reviews. I'm going to start comparing the cameras that I have, which is going to be, you know, more for like the beginner because I'm a beginner. So, and everything I have is budget. I don't have a high dollar or anything. The most expensive camera that I have right now is I just ordered a GoPro Hero 8. And, you know, that's a $400 camera. And I'm not even going to have that for a couple of weeks. What I film on in studio, I, I say really it's more like filming in my closet. I have a uh, Panasonic Lumix G7 and that's what I do all my inside filming with because it's not stabilized but it, I mean it's a super camera as far as like 4K and 4K options and video and we'll do a review on that as well. But like I said, I'm going to be doing comparisons and reviews on more like budget cameras and budget microphones and stuff like that because I don't spend a lot of money on that that and I'm trying to like hone my skills to make the lower end stuff or the cheaper stuff or the older stuff look as good as the new stuff that people are using today and as I figure that out I'm going to share it with you that way you can use those same techniques to make your videos look that much better Okay, I've already said too much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. If you enjoyed this video or if you found it useful or informative at all, give me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will continue doing the daily vlogs when things pop up because we do do a lot of Disney trips and, you know, we go to a lot of fun different places because we live near Orlando and there's just so much to do in this area. And I'm going to continue doing the work vlogs as long as it's not jeopardizing my job. When you work in you know the the oil and gas industry you got to be really careful about what you film and where you film and what you show because you just can't show anything and besides that the challenges of filming in that environment because it's just noisy everywhere you always have an engine running somewhere and if you watch my work vlogs you'll hear it that's even after i've i've ran a denoise filter to like filter out the engine noise you're still getting a lot of background noise so it's quite challenging to get good audio but anyway, that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow.